go underneath the bus that's like attempting to fall. That holds the bus. It's really cool because they're trying to simulate uh, what if a bus crashed right there, how are you going to get the people out and things like that. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> oh my god, dude. It is nuts. <laughs> dude, I, yeah, it is crazy. And boys, did we struck jackpot. A whole theater. That is so cool. Yerp. What is going on explorers today is a crazy video behind these woods lies this crazy uh, juvenile detention center that was built in 1960 it was used between age groups 18 to 22 they had an idea that um, that they can kind of fix these guys that were kind of troubled between 18 and 22 so they wouldn't become worse in the future and overall it would save everyone all the taxpayers money because when people get sent to prison it costs a lot of money to keep those guys in prison so they thought they can fix them up now shape them up to be good so they can be better for the future now what happened was uh, it closed in 2003 for good but a lot of things happened this place has a lot of history and we're going to get into it right now crowded over the years and they built another exact replica mirrored image of the same building right next door to it. And then in 1960s, a old landfill had a bunch of methane gas and it seeped into the pipes of the place and the facility. And it came right in and actually had an explosion and blew the place up. Two of the people that were in the detention center were actually hurt really bad. So they had to close down the place for seven months and then they reopened it again, but then it closed for good in 2003. Now there's a lot of cool things here that's gonna blow your freaking mind when we get down there. I'll explain the rest when we go because it is like a movie set here. You'll see. It is insane. I'm already looking at the place from the hill and it is insane. Truly something different on this channel. And we explored a ton of things, but this is very different. You'll see. And like I said, the surprise is right here. We're now inside, I'm showing you guys this. This is unbelievable. What I'm about to show you guys is a uh, training grounds for the firemen and actually even people that were in the higher ups. These people that were training on these grounds that I'm in right now went to Haiti for the natural earthquake and disasters and to Japan disasters. They were trained here where we are. This place was even trained and used by people in the task force. It is nuts what I'm about to show you. What they were doing and again, like they would take these you know buses and stuff and if a crash happened on the bus they would try to like get the people out of the bus and figure out how to do that and kind of simulate an accident and there's a bunch of crashes all over this freaking place it really really looks like left for dead i'm running and gunning this video guys so bear with me it's very windy so right here they try to imitate almost like a highway and again this is just old cars and recycled so you got a lot of old buses even buses that are tipped upside down with no wheels. A lot of the windows are smashed. It's nuts. Whoa, this one was actually converted to a, this was a little school bus, like a house. That's the bed in the back. Now it's all recycled. This is a whole freaking schoolie. Something, you know, my old friend Jax would have rode. I don't know what they were trying to do here, but we have a car that ran over another car and other cars that are on top of other cars. So I don't know what, what they're doing or how they were trying to train them doing that. But yo, it's just like any circumstance can happen. It's really cool though. Like, dude, look at that. <laughs> and then look at this. Wow, I gotta go inside and see how it looks on the inside. Oh my God. <laughs> That's crazy. Actually, we are not going in there. I find that a bit dangerous. <laughs> That's why they're training here. Definitely not going in there. You know, this car has actually been here so long and you can tell because they're growing trees and grass is coming out of this truck. Oh my God, yes. That is a crashed helicopter into the freaking building. We're gonna get up close to that. I'm super excited because I've never seen anything like this. You know, just in the movies. Dude, the whole bus is tipped over. And look at this one. 
That car got crushed. I'd hate to be that guy, but accidents like this really do happen. That noise scared me. I like <laughs> flinched a bit. What's up guys, before we get back into this video, I just want to announce we have four brand new designs at riseabove.shop. First, starting off with this one, this is the brand new Rise Above uh, Beyond the Dark design. Uh, very thick, premium quality crew neck. It's our first ever crew neck, by the way. Um, I mean, it takes up half the shirt, but it's, it's amazing. I love how this looks and feels. On the sides, we have some eyeballs coming down. It's actually pretty creepy. I like it though. And here's the next design. Bam! And this one, we have the next Beyond the Dark design. I love this one a lot. Very kind of dark and grim, obviously, as you can tell. But this is actually a different long sleeve. If you bought my long sleeves in the past, I like how thick they was. But this time I went with a very stretchy, thin one uh, material. We have Beyond the Dark again with like uh, the Grim Reaper thing. I forgot what that's even called, but you, you get what I'm saying. And we have some skulls on this side as well. Different design from the rest. And on to the next design. Bam! And this is my favorite design for anime right now. This is Rise into the Unknown. You, obviously, I'm going to unknown dark places all the time. And she even has a cool gas mask on it. I like this too, and I also got the Sakura of uh, uh, blossoms coming down, flowing. And also because it's, you know, Japan soccer season, you already know. But this is really cool. Um, I'm wearing a very baggy one. This is extra large if you guys are curious about it. Um, but dude, this is sick. This is amazing to me. And on to the next one. Bam! And right now, this is the Nara Extinct hoodie. Now, if you guys been following Exploring Fighters and me together when we go to, into London and Paris and all these other crazy places, he has his Extinct hoodie, I have my Nara Jilin hoodie, we combine together to create this version. It's pretty much literally Nara Jilin still together, but it has the Extinct for the time running out and there's not enough time. Also, the collaboration with Nara Jilin, which Nara Jilin actually is abandoned and then it got demolished and then they removed it and now it's gone forever. So the, the whole thing about time running out and then Nara being gone kind of went together and it completely flows and the X represents the rebellious the rebellious of like going to abandoned places yeah it's the whole shebang like that but it's a cool hoodie I like it and it's like a hot pink it really pops on camera and it pops in person so anyways guys if you want to buy any of this it's at riseabove.shop link in the description down below thanks for the support all the money goes towards my travels and videos to entertain you guys let's get back to the video what's really cool is that must be obviously like the the prison well, the juvenile detention center is like uh, gym right there. You can see like the graffiti, but check this out. They try to simulate it this, like an earthquake or something happened. Oh my God. Now, obviously I'm not gonna walk over that or anything. I'm not being obnoxious. I just want to look at it. So I'm just looking at it from the distance, showing you guys but it is pretty nuts. I mean, disasters, I, I, I never personally seen a disaster like this except on TV, and it is nuts, especially things like that. It's really cool because they're trying to simulate, uh, what if a bus crashed right there? How are you gonna get the people out? And things like that, it's, it's amazing. Bro, that is a creepy side view. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, firefighters, man, they risk their lives, bro. It's legit. And look at that, it's underneath a car. But this is crazy, they took the whole bus, put it sideways, and look at that. I may have to change my camera this way to get it like a normal angle. underneath the bus that's like attempting to fall right down to the ground. Well, that holds the bus. You know, this is a very weird feeling seeing a bus right in front of your face hanging off of a bridge. It's something. 
Jeez, look at that, how the guardrail's like into it. So yeah, you've seen it, that place is nuts. We have one last place that they use for the uh, training and that's inside this building where there's a crashed helicopter inside. Now, maybe that is used for the firefighters, but I'd say that was definitely used for task one. I don't know, let's, let's check this out. You'll see, it's amazing. Wow. We gotta see what it looks like inside though. They boarded up the windows and made it dark inside. You can see the wing of the helicopter crashing to the roof. I'm feeling pretty good about this place. I like it, it's different. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, dude. There's a sandwich section or menu, I don't get it. Whoa, it says District of Washington. Dude. This shot right here with you guys just standing there looks so apocalyptic. Oh my god, we gotta get some shots in here. This looks like The Walking Dead, bro. I like, swear, yeah. I feel like Rick Grimes is about to pop. Rick Grimes. Oh my god, guys. Oh, it says Military District of uh, Washington. Now, let me see. Oh. I am just under. I'm just, dude. It guys, is nuts. I'm just standing under, under the helicopter. Dude, I, yeah, it is crazy. So if you guys are wondering, most likely this is a real once was working helicopter, now recycled and they probably donated it or gave it here and dropped it. Um, obviously it never really crashed here, but it is, wow, you can hear it rattling in the wind. It is really cool. What else is here? A lot of it's just all destroyed now. And yeah, this is part of the old uh, prison. But there's still a lot more buildings than this. As we go and explore, we'll check them all out. There you go, some of the, uh, maybe the dorms. We're gonna go check it out for some of the workers. This is B and D wing though. That's one thing we can tell. You know, a lot of times when you're going to abandoned places, if you don't fully know what they are, just look around at the walls and the signs. It'll kind of help you out, especially when everything's kind of gone. You gotta use your instinct and kind of knowledge on what things are. Wow, yeah. So apparently, yeah, there's cells over here. Yeah, this is Asylum vibes right here. So this is so cool. Yeah. Oh, yo, I see the cells. All the paints were chipped. Oh yeah. Look at this beautiful, like, decay. Floor coming off. Paint peeling. I have such good vibes about this. Yeah, I like the fire exit sign still up. Look, this is a mirror of the other side. This is a dorm building. Wow. Yeah, they have a fireplace. <laughs> Dude, they were gated off. Yo, they really were. I didn't yeah. that out. So it wasn't like maximum security because remember, this was like before prison kind of thing, 18 to 22. They, you know, they had their own rooms. It wasn't horrible, horrible like prison, but. Yeah. This is some, one of my favorite hallways I think I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> really? That's dope. This is so cool. To me. Wow. It's very colorful too. Very colorful. It's a nice day to be out. Oh, dude, the checkered floors are so good. Wow, a lot of the copper and everything was scrapped out. There's a basketball court behind here and like a little playground. Josh, you can peek it. Yep. This feels like American Horror Story. It is. And Each I door. Love this right here. Like, this wow. Now, you know what it is? It's like, unless you're into that art, people wouldn't even realize it or exactly. understand it. Yeah. Like, we looked right at the ground and said, oh, that's the great tiles. Right. Like, we're just noticing what we think is great art, you know? Everyone has a different opinion on art and things. And here's where they were playing their basketball. They had like a little court for themselves. Yep. There's a watchtower up there, if you can see it. I'd say at the end of this video, we'll go inside one of the watchtowers. We got to. Look at this room. I mean, these walls have been completely taken off. They're, they're, all these rooms were divided. Now they're just, it looks like one big fat room. 
very very destroyed though they got that's and that's why they're demolishing a lot of this but i swear the gym and everything is in the middle but we're, we'll head up there after Seth just pointed out is that this wall is literally coming down. So we just left, you know, their ward uh, B and D, and we went to this area. This is definitely like their little like playground living quarter section. And then out here was what we showed you through the window, their little basketball court, and it is sealed. You can tell it's sealed because of this. There's a fence that blocks it, so you are stuck in here. But it's, it doesn't really feel like a jail. It's very light, it's chill. It's, it's nice. It, it's not the worst place to be in, honestly, this area. If you did some wrong stuff. And this side, this is the other wing that's mirrored for this building. It's the same thing as the other ones. I can go through it really quick, but there's a lot more to see, I think. I've never been here before, obviously. We're, we're exploring together. I just wanna make sure, myself. Yeah, I mean, it's screwed up. Yeah, it's all the same. <laughs> Just destroyed completely. All right, we are obviously out of the helicopter building. We did the crash site with the bus. That is what I wanted to really just show you guys. I thought it was amazing. And then we got to do the unexpected little jail cells that were there. We are now heading inside the next building and we're gonna zigzag through all the buildings. I don't know what is here. It's all random. That's why we are exploring. Wow. So here's another view of the whole uh, training site. I thought this was super cool. I'm looking at this building like, yeah, I can't wait to go inside. I don't know what's here. And boys, did we struck jackpot. Check this out. First building, first thing I'm going into, and look what I got. A whole theater. That is so cool. It's funny, because I've seen pictures of this theater online, and I had no idea where it was. I was just like, this place looks sick, but did not expect it to be here. That's the craziest thing about urban exploring. It's like, you don't know where you're going, you see some of these cool places that are online, you're like, yo, I wanna go there too, but you don't know where they are sometimes. It's like just such a cool thing to just unexpectedly come across this place. That's the only thing I could think of, honestly. In the comments below, the comments below tell me, what is this? Wow, there's just a lot of history here. I'm actually surprised. They had a really decent size uh, theater for the kids here. Well, they're not even really kids, but I'm almost curious on why they built this actually. I'm gonna have to Google more online or, or something. I just don't see why, I don't know, 18 to 22 year olds and they're building a whole stage for them. I don't really know what's going on, but it's super dope. This is amazing, look at this. Damn. Wow, we've done a thousand abandoned theaters, but I really just like this one. It's very big, very, very big. Like, <laughs> dang. For a facility like this, it is huge. And now it's just rotten. Look at this side, we only have like an hour before it's dark. We have to hurry. I did not expect to be here this long. Look at this. I'm loving these vibes. I'm getting like old school freaking exploring vibes. I'm loving this. There's a lot more buildings than I thought though. Uh, I think that leads into maybe a gym. Let's scout everything out first around here. Definitely they were learning here. You know, maybe it's like a trade school, getting your college done or some sort of trade while you're in here. It's like a second chance, pretty much, 18 to 22. Yeah, look at that, there is a bus through the window. And this is actually collapsing. This is very unsafe. I gotta be really careful here. Education first. Dude, we cannot go on the second floor. That is, un that is bad. Look at this door. If that door collapses, I think this whole thing's coming down. Gotta be very, very, very careful. Yeah, check this out, it's a whole truck. It's a whole truck. 
and maybe they actually threw the truck in here and actually broke it. It's very a possibility. They might have actually shoved it through the wall. Oh my God. I'm pretty sure they did. Oh, I love this place. It's just unexpected adventures. I'm not going upstairs. It's a death trap. There's no point. Um, we gotta keep it going. We gotta see what else is here. Gonna hit up the gym right now and then hit up the buildings in the back of this place. It's crazy, 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 crazy. Just to see what we're dealing with here, let's go out and check. Oh my God. It's a whole facility. Okay, that's like the wing we were in where the helicopter was crashed. I don't know what's in there. Could be the cafeteria. Don't know what's in there. And I definitely don't know what's back there. And you can see the helicopter right there. Hmm, definitely a top spot. Okay. Now after what I just seen, I think anything can happen here. Like, literally anything. Look at this, the counselor's office. And it's gated like that. Just probably because if you break the window, I'm assuming. They're all gridded. The secretary office though. Yeah, it's nothing now. The hell? Nothing. Something's going on in here. What is going on? Whoa, so I did call it right. This was a gym and then they are converting it into uh, something tactical because what, I, what we're crawling under is tunnels used for training. Look at this. They, were, they would crawl underneath these tunnels that they made. I'm guessing, but I'm almost sure. I'm, I don't know, maybe not, but it, it really, it really looks like it. And look at this, this is a tower and they rise it up to the top. They literally took the old gym and converted it into a training course. Just look at this. They used to be called Titans. Titans handball before it was converted. It's unbelievable though. It's so awesome. Titans racquetball. Now it's, in, yeah, totally different. I didn't, I, I get it though, I knew it was a gym. I was positive. But, all right. Dang, the racquetball's just boarded up now. It's all destroyed. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Wow. Wow. It's just all open land. It is so surreal being here. So we've already done one wing. I don't have that much time. There's no reason to show you another wing of where the people were staying. I want to find something just as good as what we just did that's different, but I don't know what else would even be left here. Um, that's the entrance we were at. I think I'm just going to go in order. I'm going to go check out uh, the building behind this one that I was originally in with the helicopter and kind of just zigzag around. Check this out though. It even says United States Army right in the helicopter crash. Every building here is completely destroyed and wide open. Looks like another wing, but I do want to scope it. Wow. Oh. If you're into like really uh, damage decay, this is a really good spot for you. Especially that the sun's coming down, it's dropping. They all right. So now that we know how their rooms are set up, this is an undestroyed one. Uh, we got their bathroom set up, their bed, and literally just their locker. And that's what they had in every single room. This is actually a better wing, I could say, out of the bunch. So this is cool to show, actually. 
I'm in love with this place for some reason. I, I mean, I guess it is just that cool. It really is that cool. After doing like 600 abandoned places, actually more, but this, you know, actual videos, I, this one sticks out to me. It really does. It's a very natural DK, especially, you know, you look at it, the sign's still up, but the whole ceiling's collapsed. Oh, it's golden hour now, it's coming down. Looks beautiful though. Let's go check out this building. Wow. This is beautiful. <laughs> this is beautiful, man. This is a gem. I can, it just doesn't even look real. <laughs> All right, what's in here? So obviously it was chained up here. Don't know what was good. We're snooping though. This painted was all blue. It's a whole freaking blue room. Now this building looks different. If this building doesn't look like old Exploring with Josh vibes, I don't know. Definitely old school, destroyed. <laughs> I don't even know, I might need a light for this one. Let's see. Fundamentals of shoe repair. It could be like a little trade school. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was right. There you go, it even says GED. And that just clicks in my head. Most likely that you're able to get your GED here. So, yes, you know, learn traits, get your GED all in one. Wow. I gotta get a shot of this. This is unbelievable. I mean, it's crazy. Such a dirty place, a dirty building we're in, and then we come out to this. You know what it is? It's like in a place so dark, maybe with some, you know, very dark history. I wouldn't say it's that dark, but something that's just so destroyed and, you know, actually this room, you know, this whole place is bad. The outside, the light shining through, it's golden hour. It's a huge, beautiful landscape. It's just a really cool and relaxing feeling to see just something beautiful outside when you're in something so dark. If that makes any sense. Watch that. All the desks are still here. Oh God, definitely unsafe. The elevator's not even there anymore. <laughs> it got removed. This, all this, this room was, this whole building was just like a GED classroom. Maybe learn some traits, but there's literally nothing left but like desks. Oh, wow. Yeah, so they're obviously doing training here. Approaching the last remaining buildings is about three in this area. Again, I think they're just all jail cells and like the ward stuff, but I still just want to take a quick roundabout through them all, like very fast. Starting with this one, there's one in the back, and there's one right here. Now this whole place is getting demolished as we speak. Uh, there's a few buildings already that are already gone and they're working on them every day. Cool. Yeah, so Seth and then just popped up out of nowhere on me when I was coming into the building. <laughs> Almost scared me. Almost. Almost. He's gonna get you. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. I scared the crap out of him in a recent video. He did, he got me. That was so good. In 4K by the way. Yeah, again, just ward and hallways. Oh, whoa, as I whipped the corner of the building we were just in, this is, yep, same, yep, backyard kind of vibe. Again, we've seen that. This building's huge. I don't know what was here. We're gonna find out. Well, at least we're gonna try. Two big wings. All right, well, we'll try this door. Let's see what's going on. First off, you got a really cool castle mural with a dragon. <laughs> I like that. Hmm. Very just huge buildings and rooms. We just did the entire building super fast, just a jump cut. 
but there's absolutely nothing here. Okay, one thing though, I think that's like the guard tower that would like watch the people here. I'm guessing because it's all gridded up like a jail. Could be, even be the lunchroom. Nice. Let's go inside here. That's the handball wall. Oh, so the old lockers are stored here. I think they're recycling them. The state's probably recycling the old lockers. There's boats, part of the, part of the fire and rescue. And that, no idea. Big cube. So finally, this is where the cafeteria is. I was like, where are we gonna find the cafeteria? When are we gonna find it? When are we gonna find it? They definitely did some conversion here. You know, the whole cafeteria was right here, but they made a whole bunch of stairs. They, they did something, made like a freaking fort. <sighs> That's it. Wow, I've been to a lot of kitchens I go to, and most look like metal scrapped and things like that. This is actually pretty preserved. Because, you know, remember, a lot of scrappers, they come inside these places, they're taking out all the metal, unscrewing the screws, taking the copper and selling it all. But this one has a lot of things still here, still left. It almost looks like a freaking bunker. They were definitely caged off. And they built a house in their lunchroom. <laughs> that sun is beautiful. Right over the watchtower. Uh, this is the cafeteria, by the way, Seth. Cafeteria. Yeah, they turned it into like this little like house over the place. Who knows, dude? dude? I don't know. Look like, at this. And, and it really is. Get inside that watchtower mm -hmm. and end it there because this is a Oh, yeah. View. Yeah, because the, the, we've been seeing the watchtowers. We've never been in one yet, so we're going to end it in the watchtower. As of right now, we're in between two worlds, as Seth said. Seth was like, yeah, we're in between two worlds that separates this place and that place. It is interesting. It's a good metaphor. And we are. I mean, there's one fence. There's the other fence. And here's the watchtower. So what, you guys checked it out and it's locked? Like, yep. It's boarded? Like, you can't get up to the garden the, tower, there's the, nothing. There are uh. cells inside though, but you can't get up. Oh. Uh, that would have been sick to end the video in the watchtower though. Yeah. But uh, at least you can see it from down here. Yeah, it's still That's cool. the closest we're getting to it. What a freaking day. One of the coolest spots ever. Really enjoyed this place. And it was just such a good time and it was so unique through the windows of the abandoned places it looked amazing such a good time really really loved being here this was seth's actual first abandoned place this <laughs> yeah. year of 2021 yeah. so dude we got back into it i felt great exploring this place like he said you know being secluded with the beautiful sunset on this side yeah and all the colors and everything it was awesome dude this was great these are the vibes i missed oh yeah and that and that's what i'm saying like this was a great explore something than just a detention center or a prison or whatever it's something just more than that they, they they have the whole task force training thing everything was going on here it was so cool to just walk through and show like what they did to the place it was awesome so we're gonna end today's video right under the watchtower check out the merch by the way i'm rocking it right now link in the description down below if you want to see any photos that i take because i i do a lot of photos it's instagram.com slash exploring with josh in the description down below as well rise above just go out to explore peace and thanks for